Okay, I'm um, high, guys. So, yeah, it's Ubi Tepo here. I hope everyone is doing extremely well in the mighty name of Jesus. I do not even have um, something prepared. Um, this is going to be a very, very quick, to the point word. Um, so, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we just want to thank you so much for your goodness. God, I want to thank you that you are so present in our lives. I thank you so much, Lord, that when you say you're about to do something, you mean it, Father God. I thank you so much, Lord, that when you say you're about to um, pour your spirit afresh upon us, when you say you're about to do something new, when you say that you're about to give us a new spirit or a new heart or pour your spirit within us, Father God, you do exactly that. When you say you're about to give us new garments, you do exactly that in the name of Jesus. So I just want to thank you so much for that, Lord. I want to thank you so much for that. And I pray that what this confirmation that I'm about to release that you have placed in my heart, may it bless who it needs to bless. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. So very, very quick. Um... I've been going through a really weird experience for the past three days. And yeah, um, forgive me if I cry. Um, and I, I've been explaining it to my friends. And I, I, I don't have the words to actually explain what is happening. So um, I just, I've just been feeling this thickness of the Holy Spirit just almost resting upon me. Um, at the weirdest of times, I could be having like the most normal conversation ever, interacting with anyone, you know what I mean? Doing the most randomest stuff ever. You get me? Like, um, literally, like today, for example, I was listening to R&B, literally. I was listening to some R&B, getting ready to meet my mom. You know, I woke up and I just felt like, let me listen to some old school R&B. Why not? You know? And literally, while I'm listening, the Lord just zoop, sits on me, you know? And I started laughing because I'm like, Lord, um, this is weird. You know, I'm not worshipping. I'm, I'm, I'm literally thinking about my own random stuff. And yet here you are, and you're so, your presence is so thick. Your presence is so tangible. So I actually had to just, like, stop everything I was doing and ask him, like, what? do you want you know and 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 i hope you um if you guys have been following my my videos like i i i interact with the lord the way i would interact with my father um or or, or my my friend and yes he's my king but i how can i say this he understands my sense of humor i guess so i literally said to him i was like okay papa um you've been doing this for 3 days now you know, um, and the first day you did it, it was the whole day. And I, I, I remember explaining to my friends that the best way I can explain it was like I felt drunk. I was having interactions with people, but my, my, I was not here, you know. So I, I, I had to stop everything I was doing. I switched off the music and I said, okay, <laughs> what's up, you know. Um, I know you want me to do something. I know you want to say something. Just let me know and I'll do it because this is crazy. And 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 keep in mind, I'm not saying like go away, Lord. No, I'm I'm excited. I'm laughing, but I'm like, whoa! I've never experienced this before. What's up, Holy Spirit? What is up? So the song that He gave me, it's a We Will Worship song. I just heard Ungi Zunge Zile, um, and which basically means um, like you've encamped me or you've hemmed me in or you you enclose me right so um i started playing that song and i think i've actually um posted the music video on my channel before so i'm gonna check that out and maybe like leave the the link in the description so anyway he places the song in my spirit so i'm like okay maybe the lord wants me to listen to the song so finally i listened to the song um and then the holy spirit says to me go to um, the verse that the song is actually like written on or inspired by and I was like god I don't even know this verse you know but fine I do some research and I I, I see that it is Psalms 139 verse 
five and it reads you and this is the easy standard version it reads you hem me in behind and before other versions say you enclose me behind and before you are behind me and before me and you lay your hand upon me let me read that again you hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me so the lord was just ministering to me that that's exactly what has been taking place these past three days i've laid my hand upon you the lord's hand is just upon us in this time and i believe that i'm not the only one who's been experiencing something like this just this 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 thickness of the presence of god like he's just not letting up he's just not letting go of you you know i'm almost assuring you that he is here and i almost i remember yesterday um once again, like I was just having a random moment and then boom, he just sits on me. He just lays his hand on me. And I thought, and I, I remember thinking to myself, Lord, I wonder why you're doing this, you know? And he impressed in my spirit that there are things that he is bringing in our lives in this season that will require us to discern him. So he needs us to be so acquainted with the feeling of the Holy Spirit, with just the presence of him. So when we enter certain relationships, enter certain situations, enter certain doors and opportunities, you'll be able to detect when it is him and when it is not him. Because you will know, you know what it is. You know what it is to be, for the Holy Spirit to be in the midst of things. To just rest upon you. To just rest upon a thing. Another thing he reminded me of, literally maybe like last month. I had a dream that I was walking with someone in like a store, right? Or like a supermarket. And this person was like, um almost trying to convince me, or not convince me, but it's like, this person was buying things, but this, I knew that the things were for me, you get me? So we're walking around the super, supermarket, and this person is just like taking things off the shelf, checking them out, and like, you know, asking me, you know, would you like it? You know, if it's like sprays or lotions, they're like opening it up, opening it up and smelling it, and, 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 um, making me um smell it as well to check if i like it or you know if it's suitable to me or if it suits me or whatever um and i remember we got into an aisle and this person like took out a container from a shelf opened it up smelt it and you could tell that they whatever they smelt um smelt so good to them so they looked at me and they were like yo this smells really really good um and I remember looking at the label of this thing and it was written tongues that's what it was written um so i remember waking up from this dream thinking that's so strange i have no idea what that is and almost feeling like you know sometimes when we don't understand things it's so easy yeah it becomes easy for us to be like no i rebuke that no 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 you know so honestly i had no idea what it was so um a bit of me felt like am i supposed to rebuke that i i absolutely have no idea where this dream even comes from you know but as i was just as the lord's hand was just sitting upon me he brought that dream back to me and he said when i said to you guys that i'm doing a new thing i meant everything and you know sometimes we come on here and we say god I mean, we say, guys, God is, is making everything new. You are new. The garments are new. The spirit is new. You know, the attitude is new. Everything is new. Um, and and we, we almost don't actually understand what he means when he says newness. Newness. So he brought that, that, that dream back to my spirit and he said to me, new tongues. New tongues. You're receiving new tongues. And this was such a confirmation for me because last night in prayer, um, I remember praying in tongues and there was a moment where I realized that I kept on repeating a certain phrase that I don't think I've ever repeated before, you know? And I was like, wow, Lord, okay. Uh, um, I guess I just noted it in my head, you know? And I remember even thinking, I wonder if that's a real like language or if it's a heavenly language, like what is this word that I keep on repeating? Um, so the Lord just confirmed it to me today that new tongues, not only is he pouring his spirit afresh upon us in this time? Not only is he laying his hand on us in this time, but he's giving us new everything, new relationships, new feelings, new tongues, new mindset, new garments, right? 
everything is new your reposition your positioning is new your alignment is new everything is new so i just pray that this blesses you guys i just want to read psalms 139 one more time it says you hem me in when i think of just being hemmed into something it's hard to 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 take that thing out it's like that word um we discussed a few days ago that the Lord says we are so deeply hidden in him. That's what it is to be hemmed in God. We are deeply hidden in him. Behind and before. The Lord is behind us and before us. We are hemmed. We are enclosed. We are encircled. We are hidden in God. And he lays his hand upon us so if this is a confirmation for you be blessed but i also believe as i was sharing with another sister in christ that for a lot of you the lord is saying that your day of visitation is fast approaching and this day of visitation may look like something like what i'm having where for a couple of days now it's like the lord has just rested upon you it doesn't matter what you're doing. He just comes and he just rests upon you. And there's almost this excitement in your spirit. You don't, you don't, you can't even pinpoint where it's coming from, you know? And it's, it's almost nervousness, but it's not nervousness. It's not anxiety. It's pure excitement. It's pure joy that is just sitting in your belly. And you can tell it's completely of God. It's not of this world. Like there's nothing in this world that has ever made me feel the way I've been feeling in these past three days, guys. Um, and and, and for, for, for some of you, it might look completely different. It might actually be um, an encounter with something or someone, a supernatural encounter, whatever it is, whatever it is. And keep in mind, you know, guys, normally when I thought of like a visitation from God, I, I always had this idea in my mind that God is going to like send an angel, you know, or I have this crazy dream you know what i mean and that could be your visitation that could be your encounter that could be the way god lays his hand upon you um, and, and it doesn't even need to be carried out in three days or four days it could happen one day it could happen for one hour it could happen for literally a minute but 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 keep in mind or rather keep an open mind it can happen in any way the lord sees fit right so don't seek to have an encounter like so and so say lord visit me in my own unique way visit me lay your hand upon me in 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 the way that i will be able to recognize that this is my god this is not um, um orchestrated by anything around me this is completely holy spirit filled in the mighty name of jesus so be blessed guys um i i hope i've blessed someone out there the Lord is coming to lay his hand upon you and it will be so evident. It will be so evident. Stay blessed.